Thousands come to New York during the holiday period in the hopes of catching a Broadway show. But this year, many marquees are closed. We came here from Arizona and we really wanted to see the play Wicked and we're really disappointed. She was really angry. I mean, she was really angry that she would see the Little Mermaids that just when she comes to New York, they have to go on strike. They're not the only disappointed ones. 27 Broadway shows have canceled all performances this Thanksgiving week. Traditionally, the second most important week of the year for Broadway. And that is costing the industry millions of dollars. New York City figures Broadway is leaking about $2 million a day. The League of American Theaters and Producers say that number is far too conservative. We estimate that New York City will lose between 8 and $10 million a day. The longer the strike goes on, the closer it will come to uh, losing the $17 million a day that is the economic impact number for Broadway. Stagehands are on strike against proposed work rules, giving theaters flexibility over who they hire. They also want more money. One group of producers is suing the union for $35 million in damages, saying the strike is illegal. The strikers do regret what this action is doing to the city, but they say their cause is just. There will be no winners from this strike. The producers are losing, the producers are worried about losing millions of dollars. We, the stagehands, are worried about losing our homes. Not all theaters are dark. Mel Brooks's new musical, Young Frankenstein, and seven other Broadway productions are up and running. Stagehands for those shows are covered under a different contract. Also, off-Broadway performances are not affected. Still, the impact of the strike casts a long shadow. Tourists with plans to see musicals like Phantom of the Opera and Legally Blonde are canceling hotel reservations and diners are staying home. We have seen a decrease in uh, reservation for the early part of the evening, between 5 and 7, I should say about 50 percent. As the picket lines continue, the frustration of theater goers grows and losses to New York City mount. Apparently, the old saying, the show must go on, is no longer the case. Maggie Lake, CNN, New York.